What's up guys, Gary with self.dev. We are back. I know it's been a minute since I made a video that wasn't a LinkedIn assessment or a resume review. It's because I've been working on this Udacity Nano Degree, the React Nano Degree. They did a special, they might still be doing it actually, where you get one month free. Don't know if it was just for the plague or if it was just to promote their Nano Degrees or what, but Google Udacity one month free and you might be able to find it. But that's what we're gonna talk about today. We're gonna to go over the nano degree, kind of the good, the bad, the projects, and if I do it again. So let's get to it. This is what was in it. Again, I did the React nano degree. So we had React Fundamentals, we had React and Redux, and then we had React Native. Inside each of these units, you have lessons, like why React, state management, lifecycle events, React Router, and then inside each lesson, you have whatever you want to call these micro lessons, checkpoints, I don't know. But this is what the general format is going to be. So you have text and then you have a short any uh, video, anywhere from 30 seconds to like six or eight minutes, something around there. And then every once in a while, you have these quizzes where, the, where they will give you a few questions. You answer. It tells you if you're right or wrong. If you get it right, you get a metaphorical high five. And then they just repeat that. So that's the format of most of the course. Now, something I thought was really cool was that in the React Fundamentals section, in some of the lessons, they had exercises like this, where you basically have an IDE on their website and they will give you a challenge. And they're kind of like mini projects. So you get instructions here and then you go to the file and you complete whatever the instructions are. And then you can also do npm install and install whatever you need for that assignment. And they're just a really good way to break up the courses. And I wish they would have done more of that. They only had that in the React Fundamental section. I couldn't find those in the React Redux or React Native. Granted, it would have been a little challenging to do in React Native. So that part's understandable. But that's the general format of the Nano Degree. At the end of each one of these units, you have a project like the My Reads, a book tracking app. And each one of those is kind of like their own mini lesson, right? Like they give you, they go into approaching the project, like they give you advice on it, the project overview, they give you an HTML, CSS, JavaScript, and Git style guide, which is pretty cool. And then they also give you the rubric, which is kind of the minimum requirements your project needs to meet to get a passing grade. Another thing I really like that they do, uh, well, they do above and beyond, like how to go above and beyond yep. and how just have like an awesome project. But what I really liked is that they went into kind of a step-by-step -step guide of building the project, like planning it out. Like I have created a mock-up for all the views in the app. I broke down each view into a hierarchy of components. I made a list of the data each component needs and just kind of, they teach you how to break down the project and how you would do it in a real world work environment, how you break down the project. Now, what do the projects look like? These are two of the projects. There were only three in the core curriculum. They had another in the extracurricular stuff, but I didn't do that one. Just optional React Redux project. But this is the first one. It's a book app, kind of like Goodreads, where you can just move a book to your currently reading shelf, to your want to read, or to your read. So these are the books, this metaphorical fake person's read. And then you can also take books off your shelf if you want to. And then you can go to this green button over here and you can search their API for more books to add to your shelf. I think we have that one on there already. So we'll just add this one. And then if we go back, it's on our shelf now. So that's a fun little project built with just like the base React stuff. And then the other project, um, do I have it? Sweet is a would you rather game. In this one, you're using React Redux for state management and you log in with one of three users. You get a user board or you, you make a leaderboard and you can also create questions, answer questions, and it, choose, it tells you who's answered this question, how many votes that question has. So like if we go to this one, this one has two votes because two users have answered it and you can log into different users and update each user's questions. So projects are really fun. Projects are one of the most important parts of learning to code because that's where you're doing something on your own. You're working on your critical thinking skills and problem solving skills. And that's where you really learn, really learn how to be a developer because there's not someone coding, coding alongside you to say, 
do it this way, this way, this way, this way, this way. Then we're gonna do this, now this, now this, now this, now this. You have to figure it out on your own and Google. So really like the way the course is laid out and the projects. Only thing I don't, I'm not a big fan of, I'm not a big fan of text. I like more videos. So if they had more videos, longer videos, if most of the course was taught in videos, I'd like that more, but that's just me, personal preference. Now, another thing they have is the study plan. This is what one of the first things you do when you start. You basically mark down the times you're gonna study. They try to get you to study at least 10 hours a week to meet their time frame. Now, I was just trying to blitz through the project because I was trying to get it done in a month so I didn't have to pay anything. So React Fundamentals took me maybe three days. Of course, I'd done React stuff already, so I'm pretty familiar with React. Um, React Redux, that took maybe five days. And then React Native, I was kind of making videos again when I got to the React Native part, so I wasn't just laser focused. That one took me about 20 days. Another great thing they do is reviewing the projects, so you get great feedback on the project. And they've also got this career services portal where you can get feedback on other stuff like GitHub, LinkedIn, get it reviewed, get your cover letter reviewed, get your resume reviewed, and all sorts of stuff like that. Speaking of resume reviews, I do those too. So if you need your resume reviewed, my email's in the description. Feel free to send me your resume and I will give you feedback on it. It'll be in a video though, um, but the information will be covered up, so no worries. Or at least your personal information will, like your job and like the general stuff that doesn't apply to you personally, that'll be on there, but you know what I mean. Check out this resume review video for more information. All right, so the career services stuff is really cool, exercises are really cool, and the courses are just laid out in a pretty good way. Now, what I didn't like is that it's outdated. They didn't talk about hooks or use effect anywhere in the program, and from the React meetups I've been going to in Dallas, granted I haven't gone recently because of the plague, but in January, February, and previously, I'd go to those and it seemed like hooks and use effect were used pretty regularly in work environments nowadays. So they don't talk about that anywhere. Kind of disappointed about that. And then also in React Native, they want you to use async storage, which has been depreciated according to the documentation. So you kind of have to learn how to use React Native community async storage on your own for the project. So. One of my biggest concerns is the project being out of date and like React Redux, or Redux in general, I'd never used before. So I'm kind of concerned how much of what I learned with Redux is out of date. I'd done React Native and like the basics of React before, so that I wasn't too worried about. But I don't know how out of date their other pro programs are. That's just something to watch out for. Another thing is their price point. I can see why they charge as much as they do because anything you submit, they get reviewed in 24 hours and give you feedback on within 24 hours for the most part. Uh, my React Native project, I did it in TypeScript. So they were like, yeah, this isn't JavaScript. And they sent it up to a higher up person and then they sent it back and they were like, yeah, you gotta redo this in JavaScript. And like TypeScript basically is JavaScript, but whatever. For the most part, they'll give you feedback within 24 hours. So they probably got to have a lot of people working with a wide variety of skills because of how many nano degrees they have and how many projects come in to be reviewed. So I can kind of understand that. But if it was more in line with Team Treehouse, like 200 bucks a month, uh, that'd be fire. Then it'd be a really tough choice. But because they are 399, I'd probably still go with Team Treehouse or Personally, I'm not even using Team Treehouse anymore because I'm, I like front end masters. They teach like more advanced under the hood stuff, which I really like. But this is still definitely a great place to learn. As long as what you're learning is up to date, they have a great format. They give you projects. They give you great feedback on your projects. They really want you to get a job because if you get a job, you're another statistic. Uh, you're another statistic they can point to and say, this guy did the React nano degree and got a job so it works boom and then you get this nifty little certificate after that you can link up on linkedin or your resume but the projects are the important part that's that's what carries the weight because this is like hey proof that i've done it proof that i know what i'm doing they do have this extracurricular stuff here like the optional react redux project es6 maybe they talk about hooks in here actually 
built-ins, functions, syntax. It doesn't look like they talk about hooks because that looks like it's just ES6 for vanilla JS. Um, Client-side server communication, async, and Git and GitHub. So I might need to do those to see what those are about. But overall, pretty good place to learn. If you want to come hop in the Discord and talk tech with me or other aspiring developers, link for that is in the description. Like I said, I do resume reviews, so feel free to email me your resume. It's going to be in a video, but I will block out your personal contact information. Also, I do monthly projects in the Discord too. The new one for August is up, or whatever month you're watching this video, there's probably a new project. So come join the Discord. There will be a project for you to do. And also, if you want to get my resume template, the resume I used before I had my first tech job. So this is what I was sending out when I was trying to get my first tech job. Look in the description and I'll have a way for you to get that as well. I think that's about it. So I will see you next time, guys. Peace. Round.